Hello, everyone. It's time for Facebook Live. Tonight, I'm not going to make anything, but I'm going to show you all the lovely cards that I got at On Stage last weekend. We had a fabulous time. Um, I rode with my friend Patience, and we had lots of giggles on the way down. I got to see lots of cool new things. Uh, my presentation went well. Thank you all for your, your nice wishes, your sweet thoughts for me. Um, it went well. The hardest part was... The microphone, I had to kind of look down and away from where the people were to speak into the microphone, and so that was a little challenging, but it all worked out, and we had a good time. But tonight, I'm just going to show you the swaps that I got. Um, so they're in no order, and if they've put their names on the back, I will let you know. So this one is from Deidre Russell, and I'm trying to do this so it won't glare too bad. Um, this is the Dear Doily set which I love it's a great set for sympathy or anything so that's from Deidre this one is from Adeke Brown she's from Texas and this is um, I don't remember the name it's but it's in the occasions catalog and it's one that's made to line up um, with the stamparetta so you stamp it and then do that hinge stamping where you just move it down and keep stamping I love the colors in this too. This one is from Norma. Norma's Craft Corner. This paper is that beautiful paper that was in the annual catalog, this, the current annual catalog that's got some shimmer to it. Um, and then a nice doily behind it. It's really pretty. This one, oh. He didn't put his name on it, but I know who it is because they were sitting um, with us. So this is um, Jason, and he took the, so he made like a deer stand. And this is the um, beach chair from that Beach Happy set, and he turned it upside down. See? Isn't that clever? And then some deer in the trees. So that was really clever, I thought. This is Lori Souter. This is a nice, it has these um, beautiful flowers and then this punch that goes with it. So it has a couple of sentiments that go that are that shape that you punch out with this punch. And then it's beautifully colored. This one is from Mary Hinton. She's also from Texas. We had a lot of Texas ladies there since it was in San Antonio. And I've forgotten the name of this um, framelit, but I think I think this framelit is carrying over. And this has some um, copper embossing on it and copper foil paper, so it's real pretty. This one is Estella Cuevas. She's from right there in San Antonio. So this um, sentiment is going away. I think that's the name of the sentiment is Life is Grand. So that's one of the sets that's retiring. So if that's something you want, you're going to be sure and get it. And then the Abstract Impression Stamp Set is one of my favorite floral sets. But it is carrying over. But the, um, the sentiment is one of those distinctive stamps. So it's got some nice dimension to it. This one doesn't have a name. This is the teapot set. So the framelits were in the occasions, or were a celebration item that you could get free with a $100 order, but they are carrying over as is the stamp set that goes with them. So isn't that pretty? Great Mother's Day card. This is a birthday card. And I've forgotten the name of the set, and I don't think, nope, there's no name on this one. But it's really pretty. I think this one is carrying over. I think this is one of the birthday sets that's carrying over. Well, look at this pretty ribbon over here, too. Isn't that gorgeous? This one doesn't have a name either. This is the elephant. Um, little elephant, I think, maybe is what it's called. And it's carrying over. So there's a punch that punches out these cute little guys. And also, the punch will punch out their little ears. So isn't that cute? And this ribbon, I don't know if you can see it. It's that dotted tool ribbon. The white um, of that is carrying over. The vanilla is not, but the white is. And that's one of my favorite ribbons. <clears throat> this one is from Jenny Trimbley. And this is that beautiful embossing folder, Country Floral, I think it's called. And I think this must be done with the glossy cardstock because it is really shiny. And then some uh, framelit and punch. 
Some little embellishments, really pretty. This one is from Debbie Leisure. She's from California, so she came a long ways. Isn't that pretty? I don't know how she, oh, those are cut out with vellum. So this is a, a framelit set that goes with the stamp set, and I believe that's all retiring. I'd have to double check. It's pretty. This is Christy Woodworth. That nice marble background, that um, background stamp is retiring, and I don't remember what this flower is from, but really pretty. This is Linda Vogan. Hopefully I'm pronouncing all these names correctly. Um, this is, I think, Beautiful You, but look, she's taken the gingham paper and cut it out <clears throat> so it matches. And then she just did some watercoloring in the background to look like a sunset. To me, it looks like a sunset or a sunrise. Really pretty. This one is Shannon Barnes. This is another one with the um, Abstract Impressions stamp set. Beautiful. Um, in all of the designer series paper, I don't think there was anything that was carrying over. So just remember that if there's any other designer series paper you want, you need to go ahead and get it now. It is not guaranteed until any time. As soon as it's gone, it's gone. The stamps, they usually um, will guarantee until late in May. But any of the paper or the embellishments, they're when they're gone, they're gone. This is Janet Craver. This is this set that was in the... Um, uh, holiday catalog, last holiday catalog. Beautiful set. I'm glad it, and it, I think it is carrying over into the new catalog too. So gorgeous. And this looks like the Buffalo check, Buffalo plaid, Buffalo check. I don't remember what the name of that background stamp is, but that's carrying over. This one is David Tut. This is called, <coughs> excuse me, I think it's called Bella and Friends. Um, cute, Cute puppies, some nice water coloring, or it might be blends. Um, and this this set is not carrying over. And this scattered sequins folder that's behind it, it's one of my favorites, is also not carrying over. So be sure and get those now while you can. This is Tabitha Lawson. Nice bird. I don't remember if he's carrying over or not. I haven't completely gotten all my um, catalogs marked up, so... This is, let's see if there's a name. Nope, no name. Butterfly, so you know it's going to be one of my favorites. And this gingham paper I love. I was really hoping it would carry over, but it didn't. But this butterfly set is, and the punch we already knew. Oh, I think that's, look at that. I don't know if you can see. It's very shimmery. I wonder how she did that. And it feels like it's embossed, too. Very pretty. This one is Jenna Cavett. She's from Texas. Real nice embossing folder. I think that embossing folder is retiring. Um, I believe these stitched shapes, I think those are staying. These, this, this set. Um, cute little um, leaves in little sequins peeking out behind it. So really nice. It's always so fun to um, do swaps. Let's see, this is from Connie Hernandez also from Texas. Some more of that beautiful paper. And then she did some die cutting there. And then some oval die cutting. Really pretty. This is Bobby Ganley from San Antonio. This is that cute cake, um, piece of cake, I believe it's called, the stamp set and the punch, and those are both carrying over, so that's fun. This really pretty ribbon that's two-sided. And then there's that scattered sequins embossing folder again at the, in the background. Really cute. This is from Lori Souter. This is the waterfront set. Still a beautiful set. I need to get it out and play with it again. Um, the paper is from the Sea of Texture Suite. I don't remember exactly what the paper is called, but this is the waterfront stamp set. And, and luckily it is carrying over also. Really pretty. This is one of my favorites. This is Aaron Boyd from Oklahoma. Look at those butterflies. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm not sure. She doesn't give you any um, information about what she used, so I don't know if it's brush show or if it's, um, she just did some watercoloring and then 
die cut it, but I just love the colors and it's so pretty. And they really pop on this background too. Really nice. This one is from Bobby Ganley from San Antonio. This is the Rooted in Nature um, paper that goes with the Rooted in Nature set. Really pretty. There's that ribbon again that I love. Um, and speaking of Rooted in Nature, it has evidently replaced Lovely as a Tree. So the Lovely as a Tree set, if you're not familiar with it, hang on, I'll get mine. It has been in the catalog since the first time I was a demonstrator, which is probably coming up on 15 years. So it's this set, and it has been there. And that's why mine is wood, because I've had it for so long. And it's been in there longer than any other set, I think, that they've ever had. And it's finally gone. So it at the end of, um, at the end of May, you won't be able to get this set anymore. So I know there are some people that are really disappointed, but the Rooted in Nature is a beautiful set. And it's got some different things that you can um, use on it, too. It's got the big, um, like a slice, you know, out of a, of a tree. Um, the other set that will help is this Winter Woods. It has these nice bare trees in it. This one is from Joni Daniel. So it's got the Winter Woods and then the Rooted in Nature paper there, too. Very nice. This is Patricia Coates. There's that flower, flower, the floral embossing folder again, a little butterfly, and the, more of that gingham paper, which is just so cute. And some more gingham paper. This is with the daisy now. This is doesn't have a name, but has a daisy. And some more of that gingham paper. The daisy is carrying over. There's actually a new stamp set that has a, um, two daisies in it, and there's a new punch that goes with a smaller daisy. This one is from Brenda Bear, Pretty Daffodils. All right, one more stack, and then I'll show you a sneak peek of something that we made so you can see something new, too. This is Joyce Whitman, some more of this gorgeous paper. And a doily. Those doilies, those pearlized doilies just go perfectly with that paper. This one is from Robin Jenke. I think this is the Twinkle, the baby paper. I think it's called Twinkle something. But cute, cute little baby card. And here's another baby card. This one is from Bonnie Atwater. Where's she from? Well, she says Sassy Sunflowers. Maybe she's from Kansas. I don't know. Um, this is the First Steps stamp set that's in the Occasions catalog, and it's not carrying over. I was really hoping it would. It's got these cute little feet and hands and a little bottle, so it's really cute. Um, but it's not carrying over, so if you want that, go ahead and get it now. Um, and then this is the part of the um, Designer Series paper from the, this is probably Highland Heather, so it's, yeah, so it's from the Subtles 6x6 Designer Series paper, which also is going away. This one is Darlene from Darlene Kirk. Lots of people had fun using that paper. And look at these flowers on here. Aren't those gorgeous? Let me zoom in a little. Bring it up a little bit so you can see them. They're just beautiful. <clears throat> and there's that embossing folder again. Very nice. Very pretty. This one doesn't have a name. I love these monochrome cards like this. They're so pretty. And there's that country floor embossing folder that's just gorgeous. This one also doesn't... Oh, wait, there's a name inside. Ann Cardle, I think. Hard to read. This is the um, Bloom by Bloom. And it's unfortunately going away. I really liked it. I was hoping it would carry over, but it's going away too. Here's another baby card. This one is from Keisha Davis. Isn't that cute? The die cut word there, the little feet. This might be some of that same twinkle, twinkle um, designer series paper, some little rhinestones. Very cute. More butterflies. This one, I can't read the name on the back. It's dark. Um, but it's got some butterflies, some more of that pretty paper. And look at this. She used, let's see if I can get where you can see it. 
there's some black cording in the annual catalog, and she used that and cut two little pieces for their antennas. Isn't that cute? Very nice. This one doesn't have a name. This is Touches of Texture. It's a nice set with just lots of fun um, texture-like stamps and this pretty flower and then the buffalo plaid behind it. Really nice. I can't tell if that's... That might be a piece of the... I don't know, I can't tell what that is. What kind of thread that is. It's really pretty. This one doesn't have a name. This is the tea set that's carrying over. Isn't that pretty? I love the little roses on it. This is from Lisa Cunningham. That's the um, piece of cake bundle. Really cute. This one is from David Tut. I think I had that name. I don't remember. Um, this is Healing Hugs. Really nice one. It's another one of those distinctive ones where you have so much depth to it. Really pretty. That one is carrying over. This one doesn't have a name. Look at this cute bird. Isn't that cute? Really nice. And this one is Andrea Fazoli. So these are die cuts from the um, Petal Palette set and then some um, embossing paste. I don't know if you can see that embossing paste. Isn't that nice? And these are retired. The embossing paste is not, but these framelits and the stamp set that goes with them, they're retiring. All right. I don't know. Let's see if I can show you. I'll show you a couple of things that we made. So the class that I went to on Friday, my friend Kay and her friend Erica put it on. And so we made um, three cards with the Beach Happy set. So I'm going to show you those. And then we made a hand sanitizer that I didn't get all put together. Um, but this was one of the cards that we made. Isn't that cute? Did some water coloring. Stamped the um, leaf on a... A uh, piece of, I think this is shimmer white. Yep, shimmer white. So we stamped the top of it on a scratch piece of shimmer white and then stamped it directly on this shimmer white so it was a little bit lighter and then cut that out, just fussy cut that out and then splattered it. Isn't that cute? And Erica designed all these. And then this was another one. And this set, Betty, I'm sorry, but this set is not carrying over. So I think you already have it. You're good. Isn't that cute? And we used um, the Brights um, designer series paper. So we have some of those left we can still play with. Next time I'll show you, we did um, three cards and a hand sanitizer with the beach set. And then we did some with the tea um, set and dyes. And I didn't get all those put together, so I'll get them put together before next week and show them to you. But this was the last one. And these little dies are from the Sea of Textures, the die set that goes with them. And then we got this ribbon too. Isn't that cute? And some more watercoloring. And here we did like that one with the girl dancing where you stamp it on a piece of designer series paper and then you cut it out. Isn't that cute? Turned out really cute. All right, then one more thing to show you, and then I'll let you go for tonight. Um, one of the new sets we got to play with was Follow Your Art, I think is even the name of the set. So this was the card we made. This is designer series paper in the background, and this is also. And then we stamped this and um, colored it with blends. And then there's a little button, a little button stamp. We stamped it in the background. There's a, um, a die set that goes with this that will cut this out. We'll cut the buttons out. Um, I'm trying to remember what all is in the set. I actually got to keep the set from this. What they usually do when you're done um, with all of your make and takes, and we did five total, I think. Um, but when you're done with them, then they'll pick some question. Like this time it was whoever has a birthday closest to the 14th of the month. Um, then whoever um, is the one that wins that, then they start and they pick something out of the basket that you've been using for your make and takes and then it goes around the table and you just keep taking turns picking something until it's all gone and that keeps them from having to haul it all back to Utah um, and we get extra stuff free. So I got to keep the stamp set for this so um, 
I order the paper and I'll eventually get the dies to go with it too. But it's a fun, bright set. Um, really cute. Okay, that's all for tonight. Um, I'm going to post a link to the updated retirement list. The only thing that's different is there was some confusion um, with the first list. Some of the stamp sets that are carrying over, they won't be carrying over as what we call clear mount. They'll be the new clean mount like we had in the occasions catalog. So they were listing some of those stamp sets on the retiring list, meaning just the clean mount and the wood mount were retiring, but it was confusing. So they put a new list out that has those highlighted that says they'll carry over and cling. So that won't be as confusing to everybody. So I'll post a link um, to that new um, list so that won't be confusing. But um, take a look at that and let me know if there's if you have any questions or if I can help you with anything. And I will see you next week. Bye.